timers just got way more useful on an iPhone with iOS 17. I'm gonna show you why I'm excited about timers now. We're gonna go into the clock app here. And typically I never used timers on my phone unless I was somewhere and somebody was like, hey, does somebody have a timer? And I would set a timer. But the reason that I never used it is because a lot of times I need to set timers for multiple things. Maybe I'm cooking food or something and I've got something on the stove, something in the oven, something else going on in the barbecue outside and I need multiple timers. I just couldn't use my iPhone for that because you can only have one timer going at a time. But now I can start a timer. So let's start a 20 minute timer. And you'll notice, boom, it comes into this screen where I can see recent timers that I've ran before. And I can also create additional timers and give them labels as well. So I could put steak on this timer. Maybe I've got 12 minutes on that steak and uh, we've got potatoes in the oven. So I can add potatoes here and those need to be in there for 15 minutes or whatever. And now I've got multiple timers going on at the same time, which is absolutely fantastic. And it's really a game changer because this is what this app should have had in the past. And then of course I can swipe to delete them if I don't need them anymore. I could pause them. I could go in and change things like the label or cancel them and make adjustments to the time. I could change the tone that goes off whenever that timer is done and resume that timer. And it even gives me the time in which that timer will be done, which is absolutely fantastic. So this app has had some changes and it is way more useful than it was in the past because setting multiple timers is something that we often need to do. And that's how you do it on the iPhone with iOS 17.